podcast. Hey, welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is Fridays with Vinny. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We almost didn't get one this week, guys. Not a Friday, but a Fridays with Vinny episode, because that's this show. This is Fridays with Vinny, and I'm Vinny. This is uh, Fridays with me, the show where I come on and talk about stuff. And man, guys, first Friday of the year. Can you even believe it? I hope you guys had a good first week back at work. Uh, or just, I don't know, maybe you didn't get it that week off. Maybe this is the second week since Christmas. In which case, good on you, man. Welcome to 2022. 2022, is, it's going to be a good year, guys. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I've got a feeling, a feeling that I'm damn don't be. Oh, yeah. It's a good song. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling positive about this year for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Because uh, usually I am not feeling positive at all, and I really thought I'd go away by now. But you know what? I'm going to ride this high out until it goes away because I don't know if there's going to be another one. <laughs> you never know, guys. This could be the last. This could be the last high before the biggest lows of all time. Man, I have just... I have been busy today, guys. It is 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And I'm just now recording the podcast. This is going to be like Friday night with Vinny. And like, don't get me wrong. I would love to do a nightly show, a late night show. I think I would definitely be the best pick for that. I can't think of anyone who's, uh, who's, who's more qualified, who's put in more, who's put in more hours in his comedy chops uh, you know, I, I really, I really think I have what it takes, uh, except for one problem, which is I get drowsy at night. Um, other thing which has been affecting me, guys, uh, this is day seven of dry January. That's right. Your boy is going off the booze for a month. What do you know about that? Honestly, I wasn't, I mean, I was, I was drinking quite a bit, but like I didn't drink every day and I never drink very much, but I was just like during Christmas break, I was kind of going hard and just like, you know what? This is a good. This is a good time to try dry, dry, dry January. It's a perfect time for it. You party hard, and then you get a good recovery time. And I think the main thing that's affecting me with this whole thing is I'm drinking more coffee and uh, chocolate milk. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like I don't feel withdrawals at all. You know, you'd think. You know, it's been a, it's been a couple of years since I started drinking. I guess just more than one year since I really drunk, you know, I kind of drink more now. But uh, I don't, uh, I don't miss it that much. It's just like as soon as I decide to take breaks, like all right, that's what we're doing right now. I I don't know, I don't know. There, I mean, there is there were moments where like, oh, I wish I could, wish I could have a beer right now, right before I go down and record the podcast. That would be nice. But uh, I mean, it's just a month. It's just a month. What's the big deal? What's the big deal, guys? What's your problem? Just one little month, and I'm already one week into it, and I feel fine. And I'm, you know, doing. I'm going strong. I'm going strong. Uh, I'm proud of myself. I mean, not super proud because it's it's not that big a deal. Not really that big a deal. Not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not coming on here like, oh, look at me. I'm so special. You're like, no, no. I'm just doing this because I think it's a, a healthy thing to do every now and then. As uh, if you guys, those of you who have been with the podcast for a while, remember I have taken weeks off before, just randomly. But I figured this was a good challenge. Instead of a week, it'll be a month, and we'll see if I can make it all the way to the end of the month. Um, and honestly, I don't, I don't think it'll be that hard. Um, I'm honestly like, I'm trying to think of any ways it's actually affected me. Cause like my my thought was like well maybe I'll be able to play piano more which I have a little bit I've been trying to practice piano more because usually when I drink as soon as I drink it's just like I can play the piano a little bit but I'm just like oh, I'm too sloppy some guys they drink and then it's just like yeah now I can play the piano because I got confidence for me it's just like I can't play right because my fingers aren't doing what they're supposed to do in time they're slow <clears throat> I have weird slow senses sometimes it's weird I was uh. Another thing that happened this week, I got a Nintendo Switch off of eBay. Finally, finally, about dang time. But uh, I've been playing Pokemon uh, something Diamond, Brilliant Diamond. That's what it is. And uh, that game's been pretty fun. I'm, 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 I've beaten all eight gym leaders. So now is the time where we prepare to go take on the Pokemon League. 
which shouldn't be too awful difficult. And then that will be beaten. But, uh, yeah, I've been kind of cutting back to the game and getting stuff, kind of side quests that I've missed. Um, yeah, like the little mining mini game, which honestly is pretty fun. Like, that's a pretty good idea for a Pokemon mini game. Good job, video games. But uh, the uh, game that I start played t tonight for the first time was Tetris 99. And honestly, it's like finally, finally, a Tetris game made for me. <laughs> Uh, or I guess uh, a, what I mean to say is like it's a um, finally a, uh, a a battle royale style game made for your boy. Uh, but oddly enough, like I don't do that well. Like I can start strong and I'm going good so far. I mean, obviously I need practice, but it's just like as soon as they start throwing pieces down, it's just like oh no, I gotta get rid of this, and I can't put up, I can't create any good combos because I'm too busy, you know, trying to go fast. And uh, you, you get sloppy when you go too fast. And you make one mistake and you're screwed. They just start adding on to each other. Same as playing the piano. You make one mistake and your brain's like, ha! Ah! And then you can't get right, you can't get back on the music. You fall off. You can't stay on. Uh, but anyway, I, 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 uh, I kind of say it's kind of weird. Because, like, with the Switch, I thought this week would be super unproductive, but I've actually been getting stuff done and doing relatively well. It's difficult during the week, especially since I really need to be preparing for my journeyman exam, which means I need to be hitting the books. I need to be hitting the books every night and making sure that I read a few you know, chapters in the book every night so that I can get ahead. But no, no, I, I should just do that while I'm sitting in bed. It's right by my nightstand. It, I, I could just I'll crack open the book Rook through it, read through a chapter every night, easy peasy. And by the time it's time for the exam, no problema. Um, but yeah, I I sent in my form today. I actually have a list here, which amazingly it's full. I have like these. I I, I think I found them at Target. I'm pretty sure, either that or Walmart. But they're like, they're like that. There's like a rainbow thing. It goes from orange to pink. <laughs> but it's like it's a really pretty to-do list with like check boxes, so you can check things off very very satisfying um but yeah almost everything on it is done i uh i replaced the blinds in our living room today so now that's complete and we jana and i found while we were at menards we found like this uh this kind of privacy stuff you put on a window so our back door which is on the side of the house where neighbors could look in i had curtains above it before which really just brought down the room whereas now we just put this stuff over the glass you can't see through it but light still lets in, makes the room feel bigger, very nice. And then I replaced the other curtains that we had on a window with some blinds. I gotta say, I love blinds. It's, you get good ones, it's perfect. You get those cheap ones, they break in a week, and you're like, well, there's 20 bucks spent. But you buy those ones that are like 80 bucks, man, it's expensive. But man, look, it looks really nice. Uh, I, I love the, uh, I, I like how our house is starting to come together. I also took the bookshelf out that where our TV is and just cut a hole in the wall behind the TV so I could run the wires down the wall. <sighs> I was going to wait to buy like the same thing I have in my studio where I could have like an outlet and an HDMI right next to the TV, right behind it. Uh, but honestly, like this way is better. <laughs> this way is kind of better to be honest because I can just run it down the wall, don't have to buy an outlet or anything. Just goes down the wall, comes out, plugs in, bing, bang, boom, no problem. Uh, later on, I'll probably put an outlet in below so that I can just do it that way. But for now, it uh, it works pretty well. Um, what else? What else did I do? Tell me, to-do list. Um, like I said, I sent out my journeyman form. So I'm going to be a full-fledged electrician within a month probably. We'll see how that goes. Uh, fingers crossed I do well in the test because I have not been studying like I need to. I took a class, like a 16-hour class. It was hell on earth and boring and killed me. But I, I, I learned some new stuff about the code changes, and now I have like some other stuff from online printed up so I can know what code changes South Dakota decided. Mm, nope, we're not doing that. Nope, nope. I, I kind of wonder like what those electrical commission people do during the day. Like, what? South Dakota, any, any seeds changing their code? How about we find some things to not change? <laughs> Let's be annoying. We're from South Dakota. We can be annoying and obstinate. 
Uh, that's what we do. That's what I do. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, one thing I want to talk about. Something I, I think I, I might make a video on this. But like something I love, I love doing is like making. I call it a vision board. But really all it is. You just get your you get what you want to accomplish. Whether it's during the year. Till the end of the year. You know, next few months. Whatever. Whatever you're trying to plan. Just write down individual like big tasks. Like for me. It's like finish an album or, uh, you know, finish the yard or do this, or do that, you know, big, big tasks. And then I take one color and I put them up on the wall. Then right below that, I start breaking it down into uh, into like different rows. One row, it starts out with a different color on the left, on the far left. Um, there's like your your subtasks, which is just like what what individual things do I need to do need to do? Like say to release an album, it's like well you gotta write your songs, right? So you put that there, and then you know, or say you just like record songs, and he's like, well let me just like put okay do basic tracking. You then you in in the row, I like I'll have orange on the left, and then a bunch of pink, which is little bitty tasks. These are tasks that I can do. I like to do it to where it's like tasks that I can do in a single day. Um, cause that makes it a lot more satisfying. And then what I do is I, I, I just check off or X off the uh, sticky notes on the wall when I accomplish them. And once I finish a row, I take that row down and I check off the, uh, orange one on the far left and I leave the orange one up so I can see, Hey, I got a bigger subtask done. And then once I'm done, I can check off the one that's up high for the main task I was trying to accomplish. So it's just a fun way to break things down. You're making a to-do list. But you're making it in order, and you can easily like take things down and move them around. Um, and you can just look at the wall, and there it is. You just look at the wall. There's your whole plan. So I kind of updated mine today with all my goals for the new year, which I've got. Essentially what I did, just in my personal life, I figured out 12 things I want to do. Because that's an easy that's an easy number, right? I got to average one per month. And obviously some months it's going to be two. Like this month... I don't know if I'm gonna accomplish the first goal. I've got I made I put some easy ones in there so I could, but essentially I just thought about what could I accomplish in January. Oh, let's bring back Internet Police. What could I accomplish by February? Oh, let me get my German license. Uh, what could I accomplish by March? Uh, you know, so on and so forth. What is okay? Get oh yeah, get band together. That's something I want to do. I've I've been working on it. I have a couple. You know, Joe and I have another guy we're playing with, and we need to get together again probably February. Um, is when we'll do it again and so that's another goal is just get the band kind of practiced up and start playing shows and uh you know then goal number four i want to start brewing beer i think i'm gonna get a uh, kit and start brewing some stuff and maybe someday i'll open a brewery that's like a long-term goal that i've mentioned before but uh it's something i, I just want to do uh obviously i'm not gonna do it this month because it's dry january bye bye um yeah, I want to pay off all my debt. Not all of it because I still owe on the house and I don't think I'm going to I'm I don't think I'm going to pay that much off. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make $190,000 this year. It's possible, but not likely. Um and uh yeah, I want to finish the yard. Uh I want to I want to work I actually want to finish writing the game soundtrack that I've talked about before. I've got a few songs done. <coughs> oh, goodness me. Um I don't think I've ever showed any of them, but I'll, I'll probably wait because I don't want to. I want to spoil anything about this game because I think it's going to be good. Fingers crossed, I get it done someday. I think I can. Like I've, I've, I've made little games before. It's not that hard. It's hard. It takes. It's, it's mostly just time consuming. You know, it takes a lot of time. You know, I'm not saying it's easy, but the hard part isn't like you know individual tasks. The hard part is that you got a ton of stuff to do and it's going to take forever to you know make your stuff and uh, work all the bugs out um but yeah i want to finish at least writing the soundtrack this year and maybe i'll like maybe i could just record piano demos and then go through them and like make the full game versions most of them are pretty simple uh, songs most of them either incorporate the piano or some other kind of keyboard as their main thing so then i just gotta go through and kind of like you know electronically produce them all and since it's a game it doesn't have to be perfect which is uh, handy um, oh, and also, I want to finish the album, as you guys, as I've talked about. My goal is I'm going to finish that album, boy. I, uh, I really hope I can get it done. I don't, I, I want to get it done by, uh, um, either 
what's uh july or august i think i would like to get it done by then and then release it either you know september or october but if worse comes to worse i'll just release it in december <laughs> unless like i was planning on doing with the ep album this year but then i just ended up releasing a uh single with a b-side which I, if you haven't you can check that out on spotify i'm not trying to like advertise it too much just because i'm tired i don't i, don't, I just wanted to release something to have something out to you know for myself mostly and it's a really personal song and i don't feel like spending a lot of time advertising for it it's just like if you want go listen to it but i'm not gonna make a music video or do anything else for it because like you know eh, i don't know i don't know uh not feeling it on this one not that i don't think it's a good song i think it's a great song i just uh I don't, uh, I don't feel up to doing the whole, th uh, the whole, the whole caboodle right now, especially with German uh, exam coming up. Got to work on that. Um, yeah, I want to finish the basement. I want to finish the basement. That's gonna be a big thing because it's a big project. I know I finished one room, but I still got uh, one, two, three, five, five-ish rooms to do. I guess it's more like four and a little pantry room below the stairs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish the other bedroom down here, put the bathroom down here, get like a family room set up, which is gonna be the fanciest thing because it's gonna have like a little fireplace in it, but it's gonna be like an electrical fireplace. Um, and then it's gonna have like a mural on a wall that Jan is gonna do. We got some good plans for it. Maybe I'll post them on Instagram once we have it done. Fingers crossed that happens this year. Um, I wanna finish this a project that Joe and I have been working on for like, I think three years now. I remember talking about it forever ago. On homeschool nerd that was before homeschool nerd we quit it and then i i decided hey i'm gonna release it on new channel but we never finished it we were we filmed stuff for it but like then we we're just like ah, we need to go back and redo the music we need to make this better it's been so long that now now we could do it better and so i think we're gonna do that sometime but i need we need to just get together in the studio and just work on the track and work on it till it's done but uh it's like a little it's like a little funny track. It's a little funny funny kind of comedy kind of thingy that we uh we we got a whole music video planned for. It's a it's like a it's like a 5 6 minute song. So it's, it's kind of a long one, but it's it's a it's a fun one. I think uh you guys are really going to like it if it ever comes out. Um and last I think like last goal is just like it's like a throwaway goal, right? Cuz I I don't have to do I can't really do anything for it. But I want to reach 100 subscribers on this YouTube channel, which I think we're pretty close to anyway. Um Oh, excuse me. Um, where are we even at right now? Um, boop -a -doop -a. where we at, boy? We're at ninety-five. Oh yeah, so we could we could get that. I would like to have uh, you know a thousand subscribers. That would be wonderful. I would love that. But like you know, a thousand is a lot. Not in YouTube land, but for me, that's a lot. And uh, I've only ever got that once. So, yeah, I mean, what do you do? What do you do, man? What do you do? Um, oh, well, this reminded me because I just saw his channel. Um, yeah, uh, Cyanice, it's spelled C-Y-A-N-I-C-E. He's, he's a guy I used to do a lot of YouTube stuff. With. Well, not a lot of YouTube. I did live streams with him. That's what I did a lot of. Um, and uh, he uh, he's now streaming on Twitch again. Uh, he was just started the other day, and I just happened to see he was streaming, so I popped on. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, oh my gosh, we haven't talked in like five years. Um, but I wanted to shout him out because, um, like me, he decided that religion was not for him. And uh, unfortunately, in his case, uh, he was... Um, I, he he was uh, essentially kicked out of, kicked out of his family kicked him out of their house and so now he's having to live on his own and uh, you know scrape by as you do as you do but like I just wanted to shout at him because if you guys if any of you guys want to check out his Twitch channel um I I know he'd appreciate that and uh, yeah I actually gifted him like five subs which is the first time I've ever given anybody anything on Twitch because normally it's just like eh, me, me, me. You know, because if I'm watching Ross, it's just like, oh, Ross is like, he's got like a thousand views right now. He doesn't need, he doesn't need my help. <laughs> Who gets a thousand views on Twitch? That's crazy, man. Um, But yeah, for him, it was just like, this will help out a little bit. 
plus it helps out with like just keeping the community the community on twitch uh engaged because they're subscribed to you so they can watch you without ads very nice very nice indeed but yeah if you guys want to go over there maybe if he's streaming send him a sub say vinny sent you i maybe i'll be there too i'm kind of keeping an eye on him because i really i kind of want to have him, po- have him on the podcast because i think i think we could i think it'd be uh interesting if we could have a conversation um yeah uh anyway yeah if you guys want to check out his twitch channel um uh, I'd, I'd appreciate that because I, he needs it he needs it um and I really hope that he uh, he gets to a better get a, gets to a better place gets to a better place. Uh, maybe Twitch will succeed, or maybe he'll just get a better job. I don't know. I, it's, that's why I would love to have, have succeed on YouTube because I keep thinking about like all these people I could have helped out, like that I know now, knew then. You know, all these all these people who have, like I could I could change people's lives if like you know imagine having like Mr. Beast money or like PewDiePie money. Or you like you want to go crazy? Imagine having Elon Musk money. Like, not only would you never have to worry about money ever again, you could you could just change people's lives like on a whim. It's like here you go, set you up for life. Eh, what am I? What's it gonna do to me? Um, and I don't I don't know, man. That would be that would be crazy. That'd be crazy. I would I I would love to uh I would love to be at that point. Don't know how on earth I would uh. I don't know how on earth that would ever get there, but man, it would have been would have been cool for uh to to succeed just in that way. Um anyway. What else? What else, y'all? Um <clears throat> Oh. No. Sorry. I thought I thought of something. But nope. It was just my brain going off. Um so yeah, that's my New Year's resolutions. Let me know if you guys have any New Year's resolutions. Hopefully you're uh Hopefully you're working hard. You're getting at it. You're getting back at it. Get back at it. That's what you gotta do. You know, just just go at it. Just go hard. Go hard or go home. That's what I always say. That one time I said it. I don't mind me just now. When I said it, I well, I said it one time and uh, it was fun. We enjoyed it. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh my gosh, guys. I am yawning. That's a bad sign. Well, fortunately, unlike radio shows, I don't have th- two more hours to go through. <laughs> Imagine being a radio DJ and feeling tired today. You would just have to, like, every song take a lap, I guess. Take a lap. Come on. Come on. Wake up, Vinny. Wake up. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bore you guys any longer with my 2022. Instead, I'm going to recommend some stuff with recommendations. Our favorite segment is recommendations. Our only segment now that I think about it. I really need to get some new segments. I mean, I've got mail time. Send in your mail to contact at VinnyHunter.com if you have any questions for the pod, things that you want to hear me discuss, or just things you want to say. You know what? I want to give you guys a voice too because I think we have enough white men on the one podcast. We need lots of white men. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear a white guy talk. You want to hear several white guys talk. What am I thinking? Um. Anyway, let's. I uh, here's some recommendations. I've been man. I've been devouring some stuff this week, so it's hard to pick out just three things. Um. First off, I just got this vinyl, so I'm going to recommend this album. It's Hunky Chateau by Elton John. I may have recommended it before, but it is one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, it's worth checking out. It's worth checking out. Um, it's just really, really good. I don't I don't know, man. It's just, I, Man, 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 what a good album. I, it's one of those that I can always sit down and listen to just because it's so great. Um, the other thing I wanted to recommend was... Um, <coughs> This book by Carl Sagan, I finished listening to it on Audible. Um, it's called C- Candle. No, uh, it's called Demon Haunted World: Science as a Light in Darkness. Uh, it's a subtitle, but um, it's a brilliant book. It's a wonderful. It's a wonderful uh, introduction to the world of uh, scientific skepticism. Now, the wonderful thing about Sagan is that he never. I think he 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 got really good at just like not cutting people down for like believing things that weren't didn't have any evidence for them you know like he had a lot of like 
UFO people and alien, you know, you know, alien and ghost people and religious people, you know, all hampered for like, hey, is there scientific evidence for this? Is there scientific evidence for that? And, you know, he just had to be like, no, no, there's not. Sorry. And a lot of people, yeah, that upset them, which, you know, is understandable because, you know, if that's part of your worldview, they can uh, it can cut you down, man. It can hurt. But, like, I think this is a wonderful book talking about the importance of science, the importance of science education, and uh, the um, the uh, value of scientific skepticism in everyday life. I think it's a brilliant read. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it in hardcover because I loved it so much. I never buy hardcover books unless I have to. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this book just so I can have it and read through it again, like, already. It's, it's, probably, it's like, what, I don't know, a 400-page book, but I want it. I want it because it's so incredibly thorough and he like goes through he doesn't just go through his own arguments he goes through other people's arguments he voices like letters he's gotten from articles that he's published you know he has articles of his that has have been published I guess in science magazines and you know obviously he's gotten mail from uh, doing cosmos I'm sure um, yeah what a great what a what a what a great guy what a what, I can't believe I can't believe Carl Sagan is like the only prominent science skeptic, you know? Like there, there have been lots of scientific skeptics in media, a lot of science educators. Bill Nye comes to mind, he was great. But like Sagan is like the only like household name that like was truly a scientific skeptic. And like, it's a shame because like, there's I, I believe there's a lot of value in that. Even if you're a religious person, um, I was, uh, I think that the, I think there is a certain value to approaching your worldview with a little bit of a uh, little bit of skepticism because it allows you to uh, allows you to differentiate what you believe from what you can actually back up. I guess uh, you know how it is. I mean, I I have things that I can't back up to that I that are part of my worldview. This is part of it. There are some things that can't be uh, that can't necessarily be proven. At least not yet. Um, and uh, I understand the uh, position of having faith in something before, uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, before uh, necessarily making up your mind about it. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is my general thought on it. Um, what else? What else do I rec- want to recommend? Um, shucks, I I lost my train of thought, so I don't remember. I don't remember anything. What have I been watching on the telly? What TV have I been watching? Anything good? Oh goodness, goodness me, goodness me. Um, shucks. Yeah, I uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't remember anything. To be honest, I guess the season two of uh of Animaniacs, the new remake, has come out. So I guess check that out. I started watching it. It's it's good. It's good. You know, uh, I was a little more excited about season one because I loved Animaniacs as a kid. And so it was just like, it was cool to see it come back. And I think that they did a really good job recreating it and uh, updating it for the this century. Um, but I guess, I don't know, maybe I'm just in a different place emotionally right now and uh, wasn't, wasn't really ready for it. But anyway, um... Was there, there was actually, come to think of it, there was, there was a, uh, there's somebody I wanted to recommend actually on YouTube. So I'm going to change my recommendation to a, um, to a, uh, <coughs> do a, um, YouTube channel. It is called, it's called Philosophy Tube, right? Let me look this up. Let me look this up so I know that I'm not make I'm not, philosophy tube show me show me yeah philosophy tube uh she's got a lot of great videos wonderful videos about um <clears throat> philosophy essentially but they're they're basically uh there's a great video if you to start you out if you want it's only eight minutes but it's an introduction to Kant's um um moral philosophy and I think it is is a great it's a great video to help you kind of get a basic understanding of it. And I think Kant's uh, philosophy is genuinely uh, just really interesting. The uh, show, um, The Good Place, kind of uh, kind of dwells on Kant's philosophy a lot. 
as for its uh, for its idea of morality, how morality works. And I'm not going to try to explain it because I I don't think that is um I don't think that'd be helpful for you guys. Um, I think it's uh I think it's better if uh, you go check out that video from Philosophy Tube. So check it out, why don't you? They deserve more subscribers, even though uh, even though she's got like freaking billion or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, a million. She's got over a million. But it's just something I discovered recently, and I think it's great. And it's not even that old of a channel. But um, anyway, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling, guys, because I've uh, I'm I'm getting tired. I need to go back upstairs and just chill out, play more Tetris 99, and uh, yeah. I I hope you guys had a have a wonderful had a wonderful first week of 2022. Um, I look forward to this year, guys. I I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get some guests on. I'm gonna gonna, gonna try to get some guests on. Last year, last year Friday with Vanilla, we shot off. We started out, you know, we started out strong. We had a little bit of a shaky starting, you know. I wasn't sure if I was you know, just gonna be kind of a blog podcast, a blog cast, if you will, or if I was gonna be like like a, a news show. Or try to be comedy all the time, or I don't, you know. And uh, I feel like after about episode twenty, we really figured out what was going for us. And that's only been it's only been fifteen episodes ago. This is episode thirty-five. It's only fifteen good episodes, and some of those I might throw out. If like if a tier list, I think I put them all the way on the bottom. You know, a lot of them, even even here recently, haven't been great. Even this episode, I'm not sure how good it is. But you know what? Point is, this year. This year is going to be a whole nother level. It's going to be a whole nother level of Fridays with Vinny. You know, like Fridays with Vinny from 2021. Fridays with Vinny 2022. Whoa, dude. That's what you're going to say. You're going to, you're going to call me up and we're going to have, <laughs> we're going to have phones set up by the end of this year. So viewers can call in and they'll call and be like, whoa, I didn't even know you. And now you have a bajillion subscribers and you're a millionaire, man. You're you're a millionaire. What do you have to say for yourself? And I'll say, I didn't do good enough. Better in 2023. But you know what? That's a year from now. We got a year to be awesome. So let's 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 be awesome. And you be awesome too. Because I believe in you guys. Whatever your goals are for the new year, whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to get through, you know, whatever whatever hot bimbo you're trying to get in bed with i'm rooting for you man i'm rooting for you unless she says she's not interested in which case take the hint man you gotta take that l you gotta just back off and respect respect wayman already gosh dang it this is 2022 2022 baby all right guys uh that's it for me as always i love you guys love yourselves and i'll see you next friday enjoy your weekend and enjoy your week and i'll talk at you again next friday bye bye bye